Hi there, this is Ryan Malloy here at the Worldwide Center of Mathematics. In this video, we're going to discuss how to find concavity in calculus. So before we begin, let's go over what concavity means in a visual sense. When something is concave down, it takes this general shape. As it moves to the left, it goes down, and it moves to the right and goes down. You can think of it as an upside down U. Concave up, on the other hand, is exactly the opposite. As you move to the left, curve goes up. Move to the right, curve goes up. This is a right sided U. Okay, how do we find where a function is concave up or concave down? Well, the concavity of a function is dependent on the sign of the second derivative. So, in order to do that, we need to first find the first derivative. So, find f prime of x, we get 3x squared plus 2x. And the derivative of minus 3 is just 0. Okay, but as we've said before, we want the second derivative of x. So we get 6x plus 2. So what we want is to characterize where this is positive and where this is negative. So what we really want to know is when does it equal 0? So we can set this equal to 0. We get 6x equals negative 2, x equals negative 2 over 6, or negative 1 third. So what this tells us is that the second derivative is 0 when x is equal to negative 1 third. So we're going to go ahead and draw a little number line here. Where this dash represents negative 1 third. So all the points on one side of this point should have the same sign, and all of the points on the other side should have the opposite sign. All we need to do is throw in a couple test values to figure out which is which. So let's go ahead and try x equals 0. What do we get when we plug that into f double prime of x? Well, 6 times 0 is 0, plus 2 is positive 2. So we know that to the right of negative one-third, f double prime of x is positive. Okay, let's try throwing in negative one. f double prime of negative one, we get negative one times six is negative six, plus two is negative four. So everything to the left of negative one-third is negative. So to return to our original problem, what this tells us is that f of x is concave down from negative infinity to negative one-third. Concave down. And it is concave up from negative one-third to positive infinity. And there you have it. My name is Ryan Malloy, and we've just discussed how to find concavity in calculus.